Gossip Kavot, the last piece in book one and the best one ever to apply all the chunking skills that we've been talking about in earlier pieces. As you can see, <laughs> we like this in small chunks, about two bars each. And it's quite valid and possible to learn it in even smaller chunks of four notes each or two lines each, whatever works best for you. It's not a bad idea to start with the end of the piece if you can work in that abstract kind of pulled apart fashion. If your child needs to start at the start, then that's what you do. However, because the end piece has the trickiest string crossings, that's where I like to start the work. And because we have pizzicato, woo, new idea in this, it's not a bad idea to start with that as the very first thing. So, E, E, D, G. Getting some nice eye contact happening with the strings. Looking, grab the string and making sure that's a lifting action that's coming off and around. Okay, two circles. We've already learned this circular idea in Song of the Wind and Allegro and Mini Ray One, so it's not new. Once you've got that, add the fingers. Lift. Try again. Ready, play. Get. Again, ready, play. Get the string. Try it with a bit less of a pause in the middle. Ready, play. So that's why we have two up rows. If you play up, down. Oh no, you've got ages to get your hand back to the string. If you play up, up, you're already halfway to your target. You just move down the string a little bit and grab the midpoint. Let's try this idea of, hmm, it's the bar before the end. You can play this slurred staccato, or you can even play detaché. Right now though, most people find it easier just to play as it sounds, slurred, no big deal. Stop. Up, up. Pluck, pluck. Okay, let's try the two. Set the four. Down bow A. Up, up. Great. Again, same spot. Ready, set the two. Play. Four. Up, up. You might want to stop here and practice that. Remember magnets, ducks, Lego people, ticks on a sheet, whatever you like. Okay, let's go back to the start of the last section. It's this. Now, if you've practiced Minue 3 really well, this is easy because it's just the same thing backwards. The biggest challenge is getting the bow over the string. Ah. Okay. Let's try. Ready? Play. Two. Press. Drop. I'm dropping to the E string with a really fast, relaxed, heavy elbow. Ready? Play. Drop. Again, ready, play. Drop. First finger over. Semitone. Free take. Did you get it? Let's do it again. Ready, play. Drop. Squish. D. Three. Lift and land. Did you get it? Okay, let's, let's go again. It's fine, we have all the time in the world. Ready, play. Drop. Lift and land. Great! I go this way so that you can see my right arm and how I'm using it to help me change the strings. Ready, play. Drop. Lift. Lift and land. Okay, maybe stop here. Practice. See you for the next bit. Okay, now you know how good a deal it is when you buy one, get one free? That's nearly what happens here. Next little part goes. 
Get your third finger over. So we're just changing the last two notes of the phrase. This left elbow is going to be ready to swing to help the third finger get its tip onto the D string. Ready, play. Drop. Get the three over. Cool, again. Ready, play. Drop. Get the three. Lift and lunge. Cool. Stop here. Practice that little chunk. Okay, now let's put the whole line together. So this is from bar 25 to 28. Ready, play. Drop. Lift. Retake. Drop. get it? Let's do the whole line one more time. And you can stop me and do it 10 more times if you want to. Totally fine. Ready, play. Drop. Retake. Drop. Get the first finger to land on the D string. I know you saw that. So I've played my one. Clunk onto the D string. Here's our next little idea. Make sure the D gets in there, okay? Some people leave it out. It's really important. Again, ready, play. Cross. I'll just turn around so you can see my third finger grab the G. Ready, play. I'm going to drop my fourth finger onto the A string. Ah, and using that three and swinging my elbow around a little bit helps me drop it onto the string without any squishing. Ready, one on D, set, play. Drop the four on. Good, again, ready, play. Drop the four. Back to the D string now. Maybe try this one with up bow stopping like this. Mm. The other trick is getting the third finger over onto G. You know I'm going to swing this elbow, right? This is going to move. And this way. And this way. Now try smoothing it out a little bit. Ready? Play. Slow bow is the secret. If you let your right arm spend it all, you'll be in dire straits. Ready? Play. Drop to the A string with your third finger. Oh, now here's the bit we already practiced with our fancy pizzicato ending. Up, up. So the last two lines, I really like to play, it's not quite a bar at a time. It's two bars at a time. Dum, ba da 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 dum, bum, 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 bum. Totally valid to stop and work on that for three days. Don't panic. You don't have to learn all of this in one session. You're probably going to learn it over a week or maybe two weeks, right? Get really comfortable with it because it will set up all the technique that you need for the rest of the piece. It has the semiquavers in it that are often challenging up here in the fifth and sixth line. It has the big string crossings that are often challenging up here in the first two lines. It has nice retakes and landings that are often challenging in the first four lines. So it's really good to think of these, these two lines at the end as your foundation. If you get the foundation right, the rest of the piece is going to be a piece of cake. And that's why I like teaching it backwards, not forwards, okay? So you can go back through this tutorial, pause it anywhere you want to do little chunks a lot of times and make sure you have a helper like magnet dots or fancy stickers or whatever floats your boat for repetition. I'm going to play the whole section one more time at a, a moderate tempo, okay? Not the CD speed. Ready, play. Drop. Retake. 
high drop. D string. Gothic Gavotte under your belt. Stay tuned. The next bit is in the next video.